Okay, basically the differences between the camber is that on the bandwagon, you have more of a free riding style, a more straight up and down pop. You're not gonna be railing through the wake. It's gonna be more of a cruisy Cadillac feel for someone that still wants to go out, have a free ride feel, have fun, feel the water, and you know have more of a relaxed vibe on the water. So what camber does when you hit the wake is it gives you more of a vertical lift. And what I mean by vertical lift is, never before have I rode a wakeboard where you're coming off the wake with equal weight displacement. Generally, you're super back foot heavy going up the wake. So with camber, you have a lot more of a consistent takeoff because your body weight is equally distributed through the board. So another thing that is affected by camber is the ollie. So the water is creating pressure against the camber. And it's a combination between the water creating pressure and you applying pressure against the water. And it gives you an explosive ollie. One of the things you're going to notice about the bandwagon when you first see it is the nose and tail. We gave it more of a snowboard look, which gives it more of a playful feel and allows you to butter it around and, you know, just feel the water and have fun. The bandwagon has more surface area than any other board in our line. So when you ride this board, you can ride it three to four centimeters shorter than you normally would. With the amount of surface area the bandwagon has, it gives you comfort on the water and stability on landings. What I like about the tapered bevel on the bottom of the board is it makes the board super forgiving. In the tip and tail, you have a recessed channel, which when you're riding the board without fins hitting rails or riding cable, it gives you just a little bit more stability on your edge and your alley. On the base of the board, on the nose and tail, you'll notice that there's a lip. When you have a curved nose, nose and tail, you need to have a place for the water to release so it doesn't cause suction. New for 2014, with camber in mind, we came up with a new core, the Air Core. The Air Core is by far the lightest core in the Ronix line, also available in Parks Camber. I'm so amped about riding the bandwagon because it's basically let me look at wakeboarding from a totally different perspective that the way a board rides has never been looked at before and it's just a playful, fun, free ride feeling on the water and that's what I love. If you're ready to hop on the camber bandwagon, check out these additional features. Park fins, a fin actually designed to be sessioned on rails, wider profile, fatter bottom surface area, and a durable new construction, ready for anything in its way. Also designed for riders that like that finless feel, with a less gratuitous grip on the water. Monocoque, stealing technology from our Formula One mates. What happens here is the bottom glass actually wraps around the top, ensuring a stronger flash line, no longer the weakest port, but incredibly stout. Sintered base, the most durable non-stick base material we've ever tested on rails. With our exclusive base, no obstacle is safe on cable parks with our jib-friendly material. Mod pour foam, a stiffer, lighter, super saucy core. This demanding alternative foam is made from our exclusive blend of atoms. The highest strength to rate ratio we've ever tested, setting the standard of the most refined recipe. Magic copper, it has nothing to do with that hot little genie that's whizzing through the air on a rug. Instead, our magic copper is our exclusive fiberglass using materials that try to find that perfect weave allowing just enough resin to bleed through and adhere to our board. Available in four different weights and weaves depending on the size and model. Magic Copper.